Time for bedtime stories where kids read to kids. Princess Mixie, written and illustrated by my mom, Saskia, and read by me, Kristen Alric. Inside a darkened closet, in sweet little Mixie's room, you'll hear a slurpy, squishy sound, not unlike a tune. Hiding from her brother, her papa, and her mom, the slurpy, squishy noises were coming from her thumb. She says the flavor's awesome, and it changes every day. From cotton candy to bubblegum, a delicious thumb buffet. When there's nothing else to do to keep from feeling bored, she sucks her thumb till it turns blue or until she starts to snore. Little bunnies are so cute but their two front teeth are buck and she'll look pretty funny after years and years of sucking and it really is so very hard to resist the temptation but spreading germs and cheeks that burn will be an irritation. Her mama tried to help her by putting on a sock. But that was much too hard to wear all around the clock. They tried the icky tasting stuff from the tip down to the knuckle. But Mixie only washed it off and continued with a chuckle. Her brother Tristan asked her if a princess was a baby. Mixie only frowned and said, no way, not even maybe. A princess is a big girl who's fancy and so pretty. Too bad, he said to her dismay, and added, What a pity. She was confused and asked, Whatever do you mean? He said, You cannot be a princess, and you'll never be a queen. I am a big girl princess. How could you be so dumb? He said, look in the mirror, only babies suck their thumbs. Her eyes grew wide, her mouth fell open, and out popped her thumb. That's when her clever brother offered her some gum. I know it may seem very hard as you try and try to stop it, but when it gets too much to take, just stick it in your pocket. From that day on, her pocket became her thumb's bestest friend. And Mixie chomped on chewing gum, as her bro did recommend. It took two months to fully stop, with mistakes as you can guess. But Mixie never sucked again. She was the best princess. The End